this is your desk. Isn't it nice? It's... <laughs> I'm so excited! Okay, company meeting. Jeff, we would like to welcome you to Friendly Ears. Friendly, friendly what? Ears. I came up with it myself. Oh, never would have guessed that. Yeah. Larry, why don't you tell him how it works around here? <clears throat> when a call comes in, you answer, blah, 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 and then you hang up. Yes. And... Be nice? Mm-hmm. And... Call sheet? Call sheets, right. This is pivotal. You have to make notes about the calls on the call sheet. Yes, so you can refer to them later because we want our callers to know that we remember them and care about them. I make copies and I put them all in the binders. Binders? Yeah. Binders. Lots of binders. It's great. Yes! You, you don't need to. No, I like it. Yes, Jeff. One thing. Um, let's say if I'm not wearing pants at like work. Like now? Is that like an issue or? It's okay for today. Okay. But we prefer pants. Okay. So pants optional. Pants are good. Got it. Maybe make a note. Okay? I can do that. Okay. If there aren't any more questions, then I think this concludes our company meeting. Larry, why don't you show him the ropes? I'm gonna make some calls in my um in the office. <laughs> Just right over here. So let me know if you need me. So Katie's the boss now, or yeah. how how does that? Okay, so you know Connie's friend Jessica. Jessica. Okay, so oh, Jessica yeah. owned the company before, right. but she wanted to get bought out because she wanted to buy a speedboat, and so right. Katie came up with a bunch of money. I'm not really clear if it was like a bake sale or really got really lucky with scratchers, but she had a pile of cash, and so then she talked to Connie, and one of her ex husbands helped her set up. Wait, the wait, 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 wait. The, uh, not ex husband number three. Is it the one that? Um, that killed that guy with the riding lawnmower. No, no, no. Then, that guy it? ended up being twins. No, this is actually number two. He's like an accountant or something. Okay. Number two. Yeah. He was an okay guy. Yeah, yeah. He seemed nice. Okay. Um, so, like, how does this work? And like, how is it, like, dealing with Katie? Like, what's, like... I'm, you know, with her being with the her? boss, you would think that it's super awkward. And it is. Okay. That's yeah, what I think. It figured. really is. It's too cheery. Too cheery. Way too upbeat. Yeah. Um... And how does like this like the like what do you do like when, oh, with people right. like so on the series so when, when a call, when a call comes one? well when or a call comes in can I sorry okay when a call comes in you pick it up and then a line will flash and you press the line okay mm -hmm. and you're gonna watch this is the most dangerous part because right. if you if you have this you're gonna want to put it around and strain all the <laughs> life out of yourself until you can't stay there anymore and that's like pretty much every day just a plant it's not a wall <laughs> ah good one chief. actually do here like what well it's supposed to be some sort of helpline but all we seem to get are housewives with heavy accents who want to kibitz oh what's that i have no idea oh mazel tov. uh thank you for calling friendly ears this is jeff who am i speaking to Hi, Mrs. Nizamani. How are you today? Is there anything in particular you'd like to talk about? Or I'm actually uh, not wearing pants. Paper underwear, I guess. Is this is this normal or strangely? Yeah. You know, just ask her about her day. Ask her about how she's doing. You know, get the conversation out of your underwear into her life. Okay. No, I'm here. I'm here. So, Dua, what do you like to do in your free time? Or do you have free time there? Or... Smoothie time! 
Banana, orange, or strawberry kiwi, Jeff? Um, banana, orange. Perfect. And Larry likes strawberry kiwi. And that's it for line one. And then we have to move on to line two. And we just take our notes here and basically just keep doing that until we get up there. You're late. They were out of kiwi. Make sure analysis takes a look at last Wednesday, 2.45 p.m. Mrs. Bouchard complained her husband was out all night working. He's a tailor. Ah, got it. Can I ask a question? Sure. When can I go undercover? That's really what you're worried about right now? Well, yeah, kind of. I've been working with you for over a year now. I just want to get in the game, you know? Yeah, you're not ready. Why would you say that? Well, for one, have you passed your hand-to-hand -hand combat course yet? Passed? Mm -hmm. No. But I am getting really good. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You have no idea what you're asking. You know what I mean? It's not all fun and games being undercover or wearing disguises. It's about hard work and sacrifice. And it's never as exciting as it seems. Practically have to sell your soul. If you're lucky, you get a pat on the back. And sometimes when you get in really deep, you have to do things you know are gonna hurt people and it sucks. And even if you make friends, you know somewhere down the line they're gonna find out it's a scam and they'll never treat you the same way again. Are you crying? No. I have allergies. Oh, so you're allergic to being a big baby? Hey, this neighborhood happens to have a particularly high pollen count. I'm not ready. I guess I'm not ready. Our spangled Look, Adina, just because it's tired doesn't mean it shouldn't take care of your needs too, am I right? Land of the free. Do you mind keeping that down, please? And the home of the brave. You gotta give them what they want. Sorry. Can, can, can you call back in a little bit? Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey. Hello, my little Kartoshka. How is things in America? Uh, good, good, Natasha. Great to see you. Uh, isn't it really late for you there? Never too late for my strushaka roja. You're looking very handsome today. I just want to see your lovely lips before my sleep time. Is that her? Yeah, yes, shut up. Oh, it's great to see you too. I um, How was the modeling job in Glasgow? Oh, just like all the rest. They asked me to take off clothes, I smile pretty, and pictures are taken. <laughs> Is she a, a model or a porn star? Doesn't matter. Well, uh, but you must be very good at it. And, uh, you know, I, I hope that I can come and see a uh, shoot sometime soon. Do you have my little package, Daragui? Yeah, yeah, I just picked up from your cousin yesterday. Do you want me to open it? No, no, just keep it for me. I can't wait to see you to show you my happiness. Well, I can't wait to see your happiness, Natasha. Okay, bye-bye now. What, what, what's, what's in the package? I don't know. I mean, her, her cousin makes her care packages, I guess. Why didn't just the cousin send it to her? You know what? I don't know. It's like when your mom asked you to help. If your mom asked you to help, you would say yes, right? It's the exact same thing here, except my mom is a super hot Russian mom, okay? And besides, she is gorgeous. Yeah, she's something. Sorry, they were out of strawberry kiwi. Tell Damage. 